Air in the process to release the water is called a breach, and the whole idea is to get the water levels from the lagoon to drop and prevent flooding to streets, businesses, and homes. Where it began early Wednesday morning, High Surf created a giant sandbar which prevented water from flowing out. The river's level reached its maximum peak. The goal was to get it down to four feet. We really hope that the the ocean will open that the the berm naturally, but if it doesn't and the water level reaches over seven feet, we have to go in and, and actually open it ourselves. As a result of that, you can see flooding along Ocean and San Lorenzo Boulevard. Dylan Thomas has lived in Ocean Street for just six months. Uh, yeah, I've, I've never seen this flooding like this before, but um, yeah, until until the um, until the tide recedes, it's gonna be it's gonna be like this, and you know we don't even have a pump in our place. There are plans for a more permanent fix, which calls for running a pipeline from the railroad trestle to the mouth of the river and release lagoon water. But the challenge will be funding that project. You know, our bids came in, and they were they were about a million dollars over the grant amount. So we went back and we did some redesign work, and we applied for a second grant. We have all the agencies on board. We just didn't get the grant this year. The city monitors federal protected wildlife like the baby tidewater gobies and steelhead trout. In previous years, there had been a lot of fish in the, in the work area, and that was problematic, but this year it's a little bit more streamlined in that regard. The work is complete, and you may see a bulldozer out there manicuring the beach tomorrow morning. The city hopes to secure a grant for the pipeline project this winter, and if that goes through, then it could be installed by next summer. Erin? All right, Phil, thank you. Crews with the Army Corps of Engineers are working along the Pajaro River levee to repair damage caused by last year's winter storms. They're using large rocks and other materials to shore up 17 locations. While this work is going on, the paths along the levee will be temporarily closed. The repair cost about six and a half million dollars.